What the heck is going on? I thought I'd fix this. Just have a quick look. Sorry, guys. I've got to rush out. Introduction coming later on. I thought I'd fix this, guys. Anyway, welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival. That was not meant to happen because I thought I'd fix this. Seeing they've obligingly given me a pile of stuff, I might as well get out and loot it. Yeah, this drone attack is the consequence of the mission that I was doing in the last part, which I didn't complete because we were meant to be defending a Polaris base. And despite shooting all the drones down, which is the equivalent to these drones that have just turned up, I it didn't register. You can see it says defend facility, destroy drones. Um, what actually happens is that if you quit the game or save and quit the game and well, there's a large plasma drone oh, wow, we've actually got a oh, what was that we've got a plasma cannon oh, that could be useful that fits on the front of the uh, small vessel as i was saying guys is at the end of the last part i didn't do it and then i obviously quit and saved the game and then I came in and did some work on my small vessel. I'm going to talk about that in a little while. And I thought I'd done the necessary change to actually fix that. But obviously I did not because the, the I triggered the, the event again. And it must have been my failure there, guys. Sorry about that. Grab that. Not that good loot, actually, considering the damage that they've probably done to my base let's walk around here and oh yeah while I'm talking about damage to base very big thank you guys to who, all of you who posted the comment about me losing a window it looks like I've now lost a door and two more windows <laughs> and that one was right outside I, I think I've already done this one haven't I but we'll just check it just to make sure yep yeah, very big thank you guys for that comment. Yeah, that was an oversight. I think I just got a bit distracted at the start of the video after with that attack and then I did it. Anyway, let's get down to what I was talking about. Now, the, the mission I was doing is called Weaponized Negotiations. As you can see, it says Defend Facility. And what seems to happen is when you load the game back in again, it assumes that the facility you're defending is your own base. I mean. Yeah, we're not even too sure, say you were out in the open or your ship, whether you'd be surrounded by drones in your ship. But what I'm going to do is just going to complete this mission manually. And then the next thing I want to do is, is pick this mission up, the Counter-Strike 1. Because the Xerox have gone too far once and again, they're posing a risk to the company operation. It means primarily to natives, of course. We need to help them getting back on the right track, don't you think? First, we should inform some of their personnel to deliver a loud and clear warning. Do you mind delivering a little notice to the reciprocants? Yes, well... Okay, let's just go. That's just a repeat of what I've done. So we've got to go out and kill 15 Xerax. Okay. And actually, while I'm at it, let's just come in here. Large constructor. We better switch it on. And what we're going to do is, what do I need? I think we'll go for some armored windows. I think I'm just going to make uh, one, two, three, four, five five of those. I think we can start replacing these windows with armoured. We'll just do a little bit of repairs while that's building up. Wow, nearly lost this one as well. I'll just come down here. I think we lost a plant as well. I'm not too sure I actually need a door here, so maybe I'll just take the door out. So I'm just gonna look. I mean, there's obviously there's damage to blocks, but I don't particularly want to spend the whole video just repairing my base because it's my own fault for not. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that I must have thought I've looked at the mission and then thought I'd check that box but I didn't yeah, mm. yeah. Patch this 
this up a little bit. Can just grab that. And that. I need some more mushrooms actually, because I lost a mushroom in the last attack. And just do that. The should be ready now. If we go to the output area, grab this. And X. And I'm just going to. I mean, probably could save by not putting in the two. Absolutely, yeah, like that. But I think that'd be okay, guys. And what we'll do is just put the rest back in base building supplies. I think. Oh, I already had an armor printer. That's fine. And just gonna grab these. And what do I want to do in this part? Well, what I want to do in this part really is get out and do some exploring and try out the new configuration for my SV. Which hopefully, if I can get this done, once so I'll just pick this up. Sorry about this, guys. That's growing. That's growing. That's growing. That's okay. Got that there. And what I want to do first is get into here, and I want to create a mushroom plant while I'm back. Great, also going to turn the power on. What I've been trying to do is switch off all the power, as much power as possible when when I'm not using anything, and I'm, I would want to. Oops, that's in. Add us out. Let me just put this in. In. Oops. We better dump this stuff into the constructor. Right, that's it. Um, Base supply, base building supplies that can go in there. Weapons and ammo that can go there. That can go there. Um, general supplies that can go there. I want this because one thing about my SV now is getting very heavy on the capable, the uh, power drain. Anyway, let's let's get down to what I want to do now. What I want to do is move this food processor up to constructor and then what I want to do is put this in as a custom and then what we're going to do is get back well, we should have done this device here and we're going to call this power save and this you finished building yes you have good and then what I can do is do this and this what this will mean is that I can if I turn and look at show you all that I Wow I lost my advanced constructor Wow I didn't notice that Oh that was a big loss Well it's a big loss but at the same time I, I can I can replace that guys it's not a a big issue yeah, they actually got through the corner of my base. That was that large plasma drone, actually. Never mind. Um, I'm going to deal with that off camera, guys, because I think you all know how to build a. In fact, just to remind me, I'm just going to queue up a new advanced constructor there. So when I switch the power on, that will get built up. And of course, what I do need to do is. Sorry about this, guys. That was expensive. Better repair all this before I put the. Just Let's get this done. Power here, anything? Yeah, these those took a little bit of damage as well. Yeah, it's a little bit more damage in the center here. And that's damaged as well. And the sun's coming up, and the original idea for the start of this video was for me to get an early start. But obviously, that is not to be. Ok, 
Okay, so have a quick check of the of the cannon up here as well. Well, you didn't take any damage. You're okay. okay. You've taken a bit of damage, so I better repair you. Oh. Um, probably damaged all the uh, blocks around here as well. Yep, you can see the damage I've done to these blocks. Yeah, that was ex an expensive mistake. Repair these up here. Yeah, that's all done. That's done. Okay. Right, back to what I was talking about. Well, after I've repaired the wall, is what I've done is, if you actually show you here, because I've put all my power onto this, it's now reduced my power consumption to 178. Switch that back on, you can see it goes up to 300 and, uh, or 873. I've probably constructed a little bit of my then my that can finish off camera guys right let's get back here i suppose i'd better check my ship to make sure it's got taken no damage yeah it's a little bit so they've actually clipped my ship a little bit as well anyway these are the modifications i've made to the ship what i've done is i've moved the gatling guns up to line of sight and put that although maybe that's not such a good idea Oops, there's a damage there. Actually, I'm going to make a change, guys. Sorry about this. I think we're going to swap this round. Actually, oops. There. Retrieve this one. just I think we're going to take out one of the blocks that I put in and I'm just going to I need the sniper rifle just at the moment and I think what we're going to do is put the Gatling guns back where they were before like that and I'm going to put the, the missiles just there I think this might actually work a bit better. I'm just going to take that out, take that out, change that round. Just going to grab this and this. Put you there. And maybe we'll have the missile launchers like that. that. Well, we'll give that a go, guys, and see how it goes. The sun's coming up, and what I want to do in this part is get out and explore this area here. That's the reason why I wanted the early start. So what we're going to do is just set a waypoint there. I'm going to jump in the ship, actually, just before we leave, to make sure I get the base up here. And we're just going to... Constructor, I want the general supplies, and we're just going to have the fuel. Our fuel's at 98% anyway. And just going to put on the thrusters, and we're finally off. It's only taken me about 10 minutes into the video just to get the final takeoff. Uh, sorry about that, oh guys. And what we're going to do is fly over here, open up this area, and see what we can find. And, and while we're flying there guys I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about and I, I just, I'm very interested in your opinions guys also maybe you can give me a bit of information as well on top of this now before Alpha 9 the focus was more on gathering resources and building things within the game and then you had the occasional reason to go to the blueprint factory to say build a large ship or something like that 
Now, the, the thing I've noticed, and I've, I've actually watched a couple of videos on various other YouTubers who cover Imperium, and the thing I've noticed with Alpha 9, and I'd be interested if, if you guys agree with this observation, actually, to be honest, is that since Alpha 9 came out and we've got the new, new logistics and you're picking up large items which can be very heavy, I do wonder whether what's actually happened is that the game is now pushing us a little bit towards using blueprints more for the larger ships and ships that we might have built in the game because what's actually happening is like if we go out, say for example I find something out here of value and I start looting it unless I've got a real monster of a ship I'm not going to be able to haul everything back to my base and store it in fact and therefore it's going to get shoved up into the factory which will then get turned into a blueprint I mean just as an example guys if I come in here you can see my blueprint currently is set to the camper van and you can see I've already started putting stuff in here I don't know why it still blocks, I've got that there as well. So it goes to show that I'm already doing that. And I think that's an interesting change in the way the game's played. I mean, I mean how do you feel about it, guys? Do you think it's a, a good move? It's encouraging people to do, to integrate some of the more creative stuff into the game by getting more people to put stuff up into the Blueprint Factory? Or do you think it's a bit of a negative step? So that's the first part. And the second part, guys, is that because I am dumping stuff up in there if any of you guys have got any good recommendations for I wouldn't say a monster capital vessel I'm, I'm talking about something that similar to the camper van but maybe that's been updated with the the new logistics so that I can just get out and explore the, the solar system because that's the way I want to go forward right we've now got something to the east and south so I think what we're going to do now is just follow the oh, we've got something to the north now I thought I'd cover, oh we got a dead zone there and that's going to irritate the heck out of me so well there's something in the water there well, we found a satellite wreck I don't think satellites have very much in them and we found a crashed ship I don't think satellites actually have much in them do they anyway, we'll just check it out guys I think satellites just uh, just effectively, whoops, I'm a bit high. Yeah, I think this, oops, there's a bit, looks like there's a bit more to it than I thought it was. Okay, let's just move in a little bit closer and drop down. I mean, I don't really want to jump into the water to do this, I think. I think with a satellite, actually, we'll just retrieve salvage. I'm not going to retrieve that much, I'm just going to have a, a bit of a... Wow, this looks a bit bigger than... Okay. We'll just see if we can... Yeah. So this is just... I, as far as I can recall, there's nothing else in this. Well, we'll just have a little bit of a tunnel through. Just have a look. Well, there's some growth built. Ah, some grow plots in it. It's actually got an Akua berry growing in it. <laughs> I don't know if that will. I mean, maybe we can retrieve that. Well, I, I won't say no to the the grow plots if I can pick them up. Underwater Akua berry, actually. Okay, there's a ventilator. I don't want to spend the entire video, but I'm really curious to see. Well, I've picked up some steel plates and all that there. And it doesn't look like the grow the grow plots and that actually have come across, guys. That's a bit unfortunate. Hmm, very unfortunate. Never mind. You've got to try things out. This is probably just a crashed underwater ship. If I'm so we'll just have a quick look at this. And just gonna jump out. It's probably because I didn't core it. Yeah, this is a it's just a big ship. I'm not gonna spend any time doing this. 
Right, it says there's something to the north of us, so I think we'll go north first because that's in a, almost like a dead zone there. So I think we're just going to go north, guys. Let's make sure everything is loaded. I don't have a lot of ammunition for the uh, rocket launcher, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. And we're just going to fly east here, guys. At least the weather's good. Which is uh, a, a bit of a, an upside, considering. I mean, the, I don't know about where you live, guys, but the weather in the UK recently has been pretty atrocious. It's a bit been a bit brighter today, but um, it's ah, uh, we found ancient watchtower. We found an ancient watchtower and an abandoned factory. Well, let's have a quick look at this ancient watchtower. Let's see what this is. Now this just looks like. Uh, let's get a bit close. Actually, if I hook that up, I don't know if that's actually going to make any difference. But oops, make sure I don't push myself off. Yeah, this is just a uh, uh, concrete blocks. I'm not interested in concrete blocks and pieces of wood. So that doesn't look like this is just a something to fill in the scenery. It does say that there's an abandoned factory. I am slightly interested in that because I really would like to try out the new weapon system. Because I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but somebody put a comment about the new invisible spawners that they're a lot more resilient than they used to be with respect to weapons. Now, I'm not sure if the abandoned factory has been updated for Alpha 9. I mean, the outside and the defences look the same. Let's fly in and have a look, see. We've got the outer defences settled down. Ooh, we're going to have to be a bit careful here, guys. Because the land terrain here, oops, well, that spawn is working. So, yeah, the land terrain here comes up over the top of the wall, so we may get creatures coming in. So this guy can spawn. Because the thing that does mystify me is that you don't seem to be able to see them now. So if we just retrieve blocks. See that's not showing the invisible spawner. And we all we got is Mr. Bug Ugly here. Hello. And I think while we're at it guys Let's come into here. Now there used to be a spawner up here, but I'm not seeing it. Okay. Wow. We've got something hidden behind there. I don't think there was one of these there before. I think this has been updated for Alpha 9. So it's this could be interesting. I think what we're gonna do guys is we'll get rid of Mr. Bug Ugly here. That's not blowing up, is it? Okay, let's just... The block's being destroyed. I mean, I've got... I don't have that much ammunition. Right, I've destroyed the block. Let me just... What I'm going to do is just... Like down here, and we're going to... Well, we'll loot, loot him. Once might as well get a bit of meat. So it's saying that... I'm not seeing it there. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's just pop break that connection for just for the moment. And we're just gonna drop that into the fridge. Wow. I didn't realise how hungry I was getting. Well, if we have a pizza, that will fill in a lot of it. 
and the stake. And that should take me up there. Right, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to bash our way. There should be a spawner in here. The spawner there. It's going to level off. Okay. And we're just going to ease in here. And based on the recommendation, I have got myself uh, something that I can deal with. Actually, just we're just going to let the power run at the moment. I know it's extravagant, guys, but I'm just going to do a reload. I'm not seeing any. Hello. Oh, come on, fire, 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 fire. Got an infected wound. What a hack happened there? Wait, I've got something for an infected wound. Wow, that was close. Why didn't that guy die? Okay, let's just pop some of these. I've got loads of these berry juices. And I've got indigestion, but I've got a cure for indigestion. How did I get indigestion from the... Okay. Where did Mr. Bug Ugly come from? Did they put more hidden spawners into this? I think what we will do is I'm just gonna have a pretty spectacular blast like that. I think we're gonna go laser rifle guys. Where is he then? How come he disappeared? This game makes me nervous sometimes, very, very nervous. Right. Let's see if we can... Why, why won't that... Oh, and I should be able to connect through. Okay. Why is that not letting me connect through? That should let me. Do I need to connect the wireless up? That doesn't make sense. Okay. I will take that. Ah, take that. Is that because I've destroyed those? Yep. Yeah. Moral of the story, guys, is don't destroy con the, the containers. <laughs> I've got that one. Right. Okay. That 
that. There's a... Stop screeching. You're getting on my nerves. It's almost like creatures appear out of nowhere now. Let's grab that. Actually, I probably don't need the crosslink on now. It should happen automatically, I think, with the containers. Yep. That's it. We've got it sorted now, guys. Oops. I've got you there. I've done lots of multi tools, which I don't really need. Not really getting the loot here that I was hoping for. I was hoping for some uh, high quality weapons. What's that? Why is this one left behind? Well, we'll take that. And um, we've got some, I think they're peas or something, aren't they? Stop squeaking and making noise. Well, we got some extra plants, if nothing else, and some medication. I'm not going to win any wars. So where did that scorpion go? Well, let's go grab that. Get some medium armor. Ah. There's another spawner in here. a bit devious. So is it saying that there's another spawner up there? Well, we're still going to find out. Harden the steel blocks, harden the steel blocks, harden the steel blocks. Devious game. That. I think we'll be okay, even if it, I didn't destroy the spawner. Right. Right, let's just pull away, wind up a bit, and what we're going to do now, guys, is just sort out. Oops, I don't think we're certainly not going to do that. And, right, let's put. Get you back. You've got your perishable, your perishable, your perishable, you're not. So, what we'll do is just drop this into the fridge, and that can go in as well. And while I'm actually looking at it, we can add the money to the cargo box. And um, looks actually that can we go to ammunition. We've got some drill module tier 2 lasers. That's going to be put the header up. We're on 1.97 tons at the moment. And as I'm going through so much ammunition, a little bit of extra ammunition won't come amiss. And what have we got now? I'd love to loot this ground area here as well. So I think what we're going to do is drop down here, guys. And I'm going to take a little bit of a chance now. drop down and just gonna turn off the thrusters and try and conserve a little bit of fuel Got some more medium armor I think that's pretty sure that's medium armor some stuff here not really getting what I was really hoping for, but 
uh, I'll take it anyway, guys. Now, I've got to be a bit careful if I'm wandering around here because if any of the outside predators come in, we'll be in trouble. My food level is a bit low as well. See, there's a gap there. See, they can get in. And I can hear hostile raptors as well. Great. I think there's some more stuff around here we can grab. And container controller. Yep, we'll take that. And that. Got another drill. So they wouldn't make so much noise, that's a problem. And grab a bit more. Not bad. So we're getting plenty of power cells, if nothing else. Let's just get back up into here. And is that oh, it's the ancient monument? Oh, it's stop opening and closing. You're making me nervous. Uh, fridge. Let's just. I think we can pop another pizza. That's going to get up to the maximum. Now the question is, my jetpack on. Yeah, no, I must have switched. Now the question is, am I going to have a look-see in this room? Let me just stand up here. Um, I know I may seem a little bit paranoid, guys, but... Right, my inventory is good. And we're going to have a... Right, got there. Now there's an invisible spawner up there. Oh, look. Hello. I've got a nightmare there. Now I should be able to. Get rid of the spawner. Came right up the stairs at me. That's not sporting. And I backed into the door. They can get up these stairs now. Oh wow. That used to be the guaranteed way of doing things here. I think what we'll do is we'll that should take out that top spawner. Well I'm a little bit worried guys. I'm just gonna get back here. I was certainly going to take that. Oh! <sighs> Idiots. Right, this is going to give me an opportunity to try out the... As uh, one of the bug uglies coming. Run, 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 run. One in there. Okay. Before we force that door. Let's just loop these out. Just in case I've got to do a bit of a leg it. What's that there? Shotgun upgrade kit. That could be useful. At least we haven't picked up any great big bunch of blocks now. I think it's the blocks that all oh, oh, shut up. It's always the blocks that actually give you the biggest problem, guys. Because you suddenly pick up a load of those and before you know it you're overloaded. That guy's not dying. Okay, up, 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 away. 
And he's following me. Oh. Okay. I'm still a bit low. I think it's going to get a bit more height while I fill myself up. Uh, actually, I think I've got the med kits. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing this. So let's just get out. Let's just switch the chip lights on. There he is, hello. Chasing me like that. Just get back in here. Right, this time I'm going to leave the ship power on. I'm just going to leave him. Yeah, I was just... And the moral of the story, guys, is don't let them get close to you. That was a little bit uncomfortable. I know I'm stupid to go down here, but I've, I've got a, something to settle with the, what we call it, that turret inside. Yeah, we did loop that, so... And that's what I meant by settling. Now I don't really want to go inside of here. Anything in here? I can't see anything. Yeah, they definitely changed the characteristics of the game a little bit. And the fact that these guys can come upstairs. That's going to make life a little bit difficult. I don't think I've got any weapon stuff at the moment. I'd love to get in here and loot there, but I'm pretty sure these doors close after you. But I think what I could do is I've got some ammunition. Uh, let me just put these on here. Okay. Let's grab this. Some more of that. Pushing my luck further and further. And all we're picking up is food. Oh, this is making me twitchy, guys. Actually, a nightmare in there, but I don't think I can kill them. No, they're actually trapped inside. I think that's about as far as I'm going, guys. I think it's. Um, oh, this door's actually open. I'm, I'm, I know one of the doors actually closed in behind you. Oops. I think probably that's going to be enough for the ban abandoned factory because what the other, the only other way in is down here. Let me just have a quick look just to see if this has changed. This is all sealed off now. Uh, here's the way down. This is looks like it's still the same as it always was with the entrances there. But the problem is, if you go down here, is whether you can actually collect everything or whether you'd have to just do a run to get the core and then call the building and then loot the building afterwards. I think that might... Again, I think it comes down to the way the game has actually changed in the sense that the way you actually got to do things now. So we're going through a lot of food very, very quickly. Let's get out of these trees. I'm just going in here. And, well, we got the fridge, so I'm just going to put that there. And I'm just going to pop that up. Right guys, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. We've 
uncovered not as much as I was hoping for. I think what I will do off camera is explore a little bit more, close off this bit because it's going to irritate the heck out of me and maybe I will fly back this way off camera guys just to open up a bit more of the planet. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. If any of you guys have done the abandoned factory and got any tips on how you do it, feel free to chuck them in the comments. And maybe because I've got other abandoned factories, I've got lots of abandoned factories here. We've got one up here. So maybe we can do a, a clean run through or something like that in the future. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.